Here we have the uh, Purple Line Power Remote Control uh, Power Mover designed to drive uh, smallish caravans um, you know, around the two, two tonne mark or so um, with a remote control unit. Now, this particular mock up installation is designed around the heights for a Swan Jayco. So the um, chassis beams, which were represented by this timber beam, is uh, around 630 millimetres off the ground, which is quite high. It means on the Jayco Swan that the um, uh, axle, or the springs are rather are mounted above the axle, which gives you that height. Now, when you've got the, the uh, purple line motor, it needs to be mounted uh, around the centre point of, of the of the tyre. In this case, it'll be mounted in, in front of the tyre. So it gives you quite a large drop height from the mounting points at the chassis. And the standard brackets, which come with the kit, uh, we're, we're not going to be good enough, and we're certainly not long enough. In this case. Uh, we've put together a uh, swing away bracket system which means that when the uh, purple line user purple line system is not in use it can be uh, tucked away or swung away up under the van and out of, and, and to give you uh, good clearance underneath the van while you're traveling so there's, there's a, an electric motor mounted on either side um, it's attached to a, or bolted to a swing arm, which is uh, through bolted in the chassis and strengthened across the van, underneath the van. We also have a scissor jack system, which allows us to uh, wind the swing arms up and secure the motors up and away so we'll just wind that up uh, on the end here is our, uh, our wind up nut and remember that we will have a little bit of caravan poking above over these chassis beams so which is why it's on an extended length Now I'm just using a cordless drill attachment here and we'll just wind these up. So as we wind you'll notice the scissor set up is closing in and the motors are now lifting. up and out of the way. And in reverse. 